Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy GSC Capo. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. Shout out to Hip Hop Daily for this right here. We talking about Offset and Lil Baby and QC, man. They were saying that motherfucking Offset got jumped by motherfucking 4PF, nigga. <laughs> that shit crazy. New solo album, but now his issues with Lil Baby and QC been making headlines instead of the music. He filed a lawsuit against QC last week. Just going to listen to this shit for like six minutes, man. Pop on another video after this, man. I'm on live too, so don't 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 mind me, y'all. Y'all YouTubers, don't mind me, all right? Oh, it looks like the beef is really turning up. Here's what's going on. Last week, news broke that Offset was suing his label, Quality Control Records. According to the lawsuit, he paid him for the rights to his solo music, but QC is still trying to attach their name to his new project. Offset has a deal with Motown Records for his solo projects, but QC says that he still signed with them. A rep from the label told TMZ, not only are the accusations in this lawsuit false, they are totally detached from reality. Offset remains a part of QC, back to business. QC and the Migos was involved in another lawsuit back in 2020. The Migos sued their old lawyer, Damian Granderson, who also worked with QC. That nigga's a snake, man. Granderson Telling used a position you. of trust as Migos' <laughs> that nigga's a real from snake. the moment he was retained as Migos' lawyer because he had a conflict of interest working with the same label they were signed to. Told yeah, you he got little Yachty wearing nail polish and dresses and shit, and man. On Time Magazine the for the kids in school to see. For, provided opportunities for, I mean, and crazy, for, man. now a legend that we have participated in any kind of immoral or unfair business practices. The Migos later dropped the lawsuit, but clearly things ain't been smooth behind the scenes. After news broke about Offset's new lawsuit, P called him out on Twitter and said the last lawsuit was filed publicly and dismissed quietly. Let's see how I had that shit back. real loud, my bad. I had these motherfucking Dre Beat studio problem. in my motherfucking air, you feel me? Acting like I'm the problem. I paid millions to get my rights back. You blackballed me. I ain't said shit one time, homie. I ain't spoke to you in two years. Now I, I got these shits on my motherfucking air. You can't hear shit, Cardi you feel me? This shit's like $400. I see why. This shit's good as hell. I like. renegotiate his contract. I'm tired of people trying to make Offset feel like Gotta leave the motherfucking enough, shit off. I'm over here After using that, the motherfucking... Offset hopped on IG Live to tell fans what was up. He said that he's not... We got the blue mic and shit, media, like... But he wants to own the rights to his solo career so his kids will be set for life. With the motherfucking pop him, filter and shit. He's trying to hold him back from leveling up yeah. the situation. During the live session, he said, Sometimes people don't want to see you sprout and grow. You know what I mean? Not be a boss and own yourself. A couple days after Offset and Peace and shots at each other on Twitter... P posted a video on his Instagram story. In the video, P asked Lil Baby to read a message of a piece of artwork behind him that said, the show must go on. Then Baby yells, the show must go on, while P is laughing. Hey, baby, you see what they say on the bed? Read what they say on the bed. Show must go on. <laughs> show must go on. <laughs> it wasn't a clear shot at Offset, but fans think it was aimed at him because of his history with Lil Baby. Baby's been signed to QC for years, just like the Migos, but they've had issues before. And another reason Offset might be beefing with P and QC is because Lil Baby is the label's hottest artist right now. Migos are still one of the biggest rap crews in the game, but Baby is definitely bringing in the most bread for QC right now. The Migos <laughs> most definitely, definitely the man. Like they used to, and all QC cares about is keeping Lil Baby happy with his deal. Back in 2020, there was rumors that Baby's 4PF crew jumped Offset outside a party. In February 2020, Offset was allegedly leaving the party when Baby's crew ran up on him. A video leaked showing what went down, but it's hard to tell what exactly happened or if Offset's even there. In the video, a group of dudes walk up and one of them says, What's up, Off? And some kind of fight breaks out. At the end of the video, a man who people claim is oh, Baby comes out. Oh, that's and crazy. I remember this shit, what, what actually. No one knows Yo, what really went down, but nobody Lewis talked said, about that shit until time, now. That's Offset's wild that they now just like, bro, what the fuck? Game. That's weird. According to the rumor, dudes from 4 pf saw Offset. Like, bro, I seen that video, bro. What the fuck? How, why they not? Why did it make that? Why did it make that trend? Then why did that trend like then and there? Like that shit is just now trending. Like today, like this month, yesterday. Like what the fuck? It's weird as hell, man. I know that shit look familiar. About the money he lost shooting dice. But Lil Baby denied everything on his IG story, writing, Stop speaking fake news. That shit fake. Even though Baby said the rumors about Offset was all cap, fans knew there was still static behind the scenes. Then in 2021, the yeah. Migos performed before Logan Paul's boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. They played the track straight in off of Culture 3, where Quavo opens up his verse with the line, It's acting like something's been taken. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. After the set, Lil Baby allegedly took a shot at Quavo when he wrote, Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening, with laughing emojis on his Instagram story. But he later deleted the post, which made even more fans think it was a shot at Quavo. 
Baby and Quavo was never really beefing, but a few months after the boxing match, rumors started flying that Baby was hooking up with Quavo's ex, Sweet. Yeah, it was a shot. No one know how I know. <laughs> Wanna know how I know it was a shot? Cause I do that shit to niggas on fucking Facebook. And I tag their ass too. I ain't scared of niggas, you feel me? Only fit God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, you feel me? So I know that was a shot. I tag the niggas so you know what I'm saying? I even say it and let it sit there for like nine hours, you feel me? And then after take it off, you feel me? Like he's smart as hell. Tell me y'all niggas don't understand the art of war, man. That should've get to a nigga fucking mentally, bro. That should've drive a nigga crazy, bro. I'm telling you. That shit real niggas in. You heard what Dirk said. Y'all niggas don't know how to move like that, man. I'm telling you, bro. Real niggas know. They was started dating in 2018. But in March 2021, they split up. And Sweetie aired everything out on Twitter. She said, I'm single. I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulated. And what happened? Baby bump heads and offset two times, right? Niggas don't know about reeling a nigga in. I'm telling you, man. Lady that degrades my character. Presents don't bend their scars, and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women. Oh, she pretty. Then, in November 2021, Baby she and Sweetie were spotted together shopping in New York. Baby tried to squash the rumors and tweeted, Baby not date no one. I'm single. But then, it looked like Baby was capping because Quavo wrote, Ain't tripping. We can swap it out. Hashtag, if you see the label. Now rumors been going around that Offset cheated on Cardi with Sweetie, but most people think huh. it's all cap. Bro, if he did that, I said Cardi about Offset hooking up with Sweetie. Hey, bro, this is crazy. What's wrong with these niggas, man? <laughs> uh... Yo, niggas literally don't even have to cheat anymore, bro. They can literally just talk to their girl and just like, hey, yo, you want to do this? You, you feel me? Like, niggas is crazy. Bro. I don't get people, bro. Niggas is retarded. Niggas is retarded. Cardi clap back with no, but no, and damn well Cardi like that anyway. The f man, look, bro, offset stupid. Niggas be doing stupid shit, bro. Like you, like, we all know where Cardi, where she came from, and how she grew up, and you know what I'm saying? You know how she get. She be with the shits. So why you even had to cheat on her offset? Nigga, you stupid, bro. Stupid ass boy. Fine. You making crazy lies, starting shit, and putting female rappers in it with no receipts. It don't look like the rumors about offset and sweetie are true. Hope it ain't true. With amigos on the back end. Cause nigga, all three of them been dodging questions about the group's split Nigga, up. if that Ever shit true, Quavo boy. Their project, unconfused. Offset and Cardi both unfollowed Takeoff and Quavo, and the three of them ain't been oh, together Oh shit! They pulled oh up shit! The ball back in June, but the official story was that they had scheduling conflicts. Now the breakup rumors are flying again, cause Quavo and Takeoff was featured on a track off DJ Khaled's new record, but Offset was left off. Khaled did an interview with Damn. Lo from Apple Music and said. I mean, those are all my brothers. All three of them are my brothers. They trying to say cuz motherfucking Offset, you know, Offset GD. And they got that motherfucking, um, that Rico shit going on with the uh, Georgia Barrel of Investigations, you feel me? The GBI. Georgia got their own motherfucking FBI branch, you know what I'm saying, for the state. Like, they got their own shit. Like, nigga, fuck the FBI. We can handle it ourselves, nigga. But, yeah. They got that motherfucking, uh, what's the name? That fucking Rico and GD's. The GD sets was up there. It was some GD sets up there and shit. So Offset, maybe uh, Offset GD. Them niggas also could be uh, doing that shit. So they won't be like, like called up in court and shit or called up in a Rico just in case he called them to the Rico. Because if they call that nigga into it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they family. Them niggas is blood related anyway. So, it's I don't even, look, I don't even know if they could get around that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless they really, like, they make them think, like, oh, they even stopped following them on social media. And they stopped being their friends and stop. they made it seem like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, yeah, if they could get them to believe that shit, then, hey, man, shit, good shit. But, hey, that's going to be a hard one to pull. Like, y'all niggas is blood related. 
So even if y'all, uh, yeah, see, that shit is it's crazy. There's certain shit I said don't make no sense, man. You're going to have to make it make sense. And you don't know if you can. All you do, you all you could do is try. Yeah, that shit crazy. They bugging. Their big brother, we want to see them together no matter certain what. Certain moves just Nobody ain't smart, man. Together. So I'm not going to be one of those guys that's going to. None of the niggas will talk about what's going on. So all I'll talk about them breaking up are just rumors for now. Even if there is a breakup between Offset and... Yeah, I don't think it's a breakup, man. They just doing that so they won't be called. They won't so, like... So they won't... The Migos won't be labeled as a motherfucking uh, gang and shit in Georgia. Because they, like I said, they labeling fucking... They finding out that... Through, they finding out through Young Thug case, right? Slum Life is a label. But it's also a fucking gang. It's a branch off of Sex Money Murder. Through Young Thug. <sighs> They've been investigating Young Thug for like probably 15 years, man. Whenever they dropped that video on World Star Hip Hop with him sitting on that back of that car and he had his little homies under him and he was on that chirp. Whenever they dropped that video on World Star, that's the day they was watching him. That's the day they started watching him or around that time. It was no reason for that video to even be posted up on the internet. Then who posted that? Then why did you post it? Like, hell no, nigga. Nigga is making fucking music now, nigga. Like, how did you get an old video of this nigga out here on a fucking chirp, busting moves and shit, with his little niggas under him, waiting yeah, that shit is just crazy, bro. Like I said, man, they said they've been watching. I feel like that video, that's when they've been watching. And they post that shit up on purpose, let niggas know, like, but he's so much into that fame and shit, he ain't paying attention to that shit. That video probably went right over his head. He probably didn't even see it. So much videos on the internet, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, shit crazy, bro. Hopefully, they can work it all out. They all grew up together and are blood related. Man, the, and like Jay Z says, nobody wins. When right, I'm about to put my phone on. Do not, not disturb. Cause these motherfuckers blowing my phone up, man. Backing down. Yeah, bro. More involved, the situation could really turn up. Hopefully, both sides come to an agreement before anything worse happens. But when you're dealing with street dudes from Atlanta, anything can go down. Yeah, and the judge know that they finding out through Young Thug case, man. So yeah, like I said, that that breakup. I don't think they breaking up. They just trying to uh. Make it seem like that So that <clears throat> That way if Motherfucking Offset Is pulled up in the motherfucking Ricos That they building up on them niggas and shit Then They won't have to fucking face those charges You know what I'm saying They won't have to worry about that shit Because Them niggas not GD Uh Quavo and Takeoff not GD Only Offset is GD So yeah they like offset, man. You gonna have to take that one by yourself, nigga. Ain't nobody tell your ass to join the gang. <laughs> That's fucked up. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. Smash that like and subscribe button, man. Ah, damn. Tongue twisted as hell, man. Smash that like and subscribe button. It's your boy GSK. Ah, see, look, man. I ain't deleting this shit. Hell no. Nah. Fuck it. Y'all know what to do, man. I'm out, man. Gang, gang.